What's going on, people? So here we go. Happy Friday. And uh, today's discussion, our topic is, is Ed 500 worth doing? So I'm just going to talk to you about, you know, the topic at hand, about AZ500, what it covers on the syllabus and stuff like that. Is it worth doing? Yes. And I'll tell you how basically it's helped me change my career. I understand a lot more about Azure. So, you know, here we go. Uh, before I continue, if you could be kind enough to just subscribe to the channel or give me the thumbs up, that'll be highly appreciated so that when it comes to these videos I'm creating and you like the content that I'm actually producing that you don't miss the videos that are coming up there so I can help you track your career. Anyway, back in, back in the game. So let's talk more about, you know, the ASF 500 cert. This, having the qualification itself is not gonna change your life or your work career unless you're actually gonna use the tools to solve problems in your workplace. So that's the way how I do cert certificates of qualifications. So let's say for example, if you are an architect, so my, with my job role, I because I'm a contractor, it changes like the wind, the direction of the wind. I could be a engineer one day, I could be a architect, I could be pre-sales, I could be um, DevOps, I could be SecOps, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just the tooling that's in place that can help you solve problems. Azure Security can help you do that. So what do I mean by that? So like take, for example, when I'm doing any sort of deployments when it comes to migrations away from um, on-premises into Azure, I need to know the elements of Azure that will help me with security. So NSGs, that's a given, that's an obvious start. But then you've got the likes of privilege identity management, you got Azure Security Center. How is that going to actually help you? Um, what else that, that was covered? The way how of um, <clears throat> doing policies, governance, our back accounts, all of these sort of things. And the thing is, is that doing the qualification has helped me actually land better jobs. The reason behind that is because when you study for the information or you study for the syllabus, what tends to happen is, is that you have majority of this information at the forefront of your mind. OK, and when you go into trying to pass this qualification to gain knowledge rather than claim the certificate, meaning you're not actually doing brain dumps to, uh, you know, just pass the test, you will have the skills and the knowledge to get a high end paying job, one, and two, be able to know what the hell you're talking about. You know, that's the thing. A lot of people who are in cloud, um, you become a little bit scattered or your obtaining of information is fragmented. And the reason why it's fragmented is because there's no train of thought, meaning there's no steady growth in where you're actually um, getting your information from. Doing the qualifications for Microsoft does help you do that. More importantly, doing the qualifications via the syllabus or via Microsoft's free training will help you actually get end-to-end -end knowledge. Now, the thing is, that's all perfect well, Jude, and we've got theory and stuff like that. What about hands-on? Well, you're in luck because what tends to happen is, is that majority of these um, modules produced and performed by Microsoft does actually give you some labs to do. And you get a little touch of hands-on, but you just get enough. But anyway, I can hear my kids coming, so I have to stop this meeting and recording. And it's Friday, and we've got to pull out. So, you know, thank you very much for tuning in. Have a good one, have a good weekend, happy Friday. And um, yeah, good luck in obtaining your qualifications. Hope to see you soon.